April is Military Child Month. It's a time to recognize the importance of kids in the armed forces community. And one organization, the Bob Woodruff Foundation, is working to help with the mental health of military kids. And joining us now is their CEO, Anne-Marie Darty. It is great to have you in studio with us. Of course, the name will sound familiar to many people. It's named after uh, ABC journalist Bob Woodruff. But tell us how it started and tell us more about the foundation and their uh, mission. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It feels great to be at ABC. You're right, it was Bob Woodruff, who many of you may remember was catastrophically wounded while he was reporting on the war in Iraq back in 2006. The vehicle he was in hit a roadside bomb. But the good news is his life was saved by military medics and soldiers he was over there with. He's had a miraculous recovery. He's back on the news. But their family said, hey, if this could happen to us, mm -hmm. then look at all of the other service members who've had the same wounds. And they decided to use what platform they had to raise money and awareness mm -hmm. to support other veterans and military families across the country. And you all have really made a name for yourself over the last 15 years or so. And I know the foundation recently has taken a real interest in investing in military children and their mental health. Tell us about this investment. And when you think about kids in America, mental health is a, is a crisis for all of them. But when you think about that little sliver of the population, kids whose parents are actively serving, they've got a unique set of needs. It's actually 43% of active duty military parents say that one of their children has very poor mental health. Mm -hmm. That's a number that simply unacceptable and we're trying to do something about it. Now you've been with this organization we were talking before the commercial break and you said 15 years so you've been able to see the impact it's having. Can you give us an anecdotal example of maybe a young person who you tracked their progress through through the years? It's incredible. I mean you think about people who signed up to serve after 9-11 and they're having children mm. that are signing up to mm -hmm. serve. So when you think of America's longest wars, I think about families who volunteered to serve, came home combat wounded, were unable to have children, and then participated in the Bob Woodruff Foundation's Viva program, and we were able to help them with fertility assistance mm. to have children of their own. I mean, if there's not anything more yeah. you could be proud of than helping people, our nation's heroes, have families of their own, it's, it's uh, probably my favorite program. Yeah, and finally, just for regular people out there who are watching, who want to do something to help military kids, what can others out there do to support that group in our population? You know, military kids are among us. They're not just on bases. We have the National Guard and reservists all around the country. I think paying attention and asking in your communities, are there military kids in my classroom and what special needs might they have? We have a ton of resources at the Bob Woodruff Foundation's website. We're hosting a convening next month in Texas to really dig deep and hopefully have a toolkit for people all across the country after that. Well, Anne-Marie, this is so awesome because a lot of times it's not top of mind to think of the children, but so many members of the family are affected when someone goes out and uh, sacrifices their mm -hmm. life or offers service. So we thank you so much for all the good work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. All right, great.